Hey everyone, Surreal K9 here. Welcome back for more to Sky 4, A Promise Revisited. In the last episode, we saved Fuka from a very slimy fate. And, uh, it's... And Axel came back and told us that he released all the prisoners in Hades. So, uh... Now we gotta deal with the ensuing aftermath of chaos. Let's go! Shoot, I gotta lower the volume again so I don't echo. Stay out of it. Just lie down and sleep here forever. I think Fenric is jealous of the attention Fuka is getting. There's only one thing to do. We must defeat that pseudo warden and stand up for the real warden who fought with us and died honorably. <laughs> <laughs> His undemon-like, undoubting heart is also one of Lord Valvatoris' formidable powers. In any case, whether he's real or fake, he certainly has the support of some hidden force behind him. Indeed. Only the President would be able to grant such a prize as pardons to prisoners of Hades. I concur. Could the power behind him possibly be... Who is it? Tell me! Must plan accordingly. Episode three. It... Did he actually say enter the final weapon? I wasn't. I couldn't hear him. <laughs> Lord Falvatoras, I have a report to make. We got a new feature. Cabinet members, okay. By appointing cabinet members, you can assign characters to various jobs. This is kind of like the uh, a combination of the front row bonus and the teacher in a uh, in Final Fantasy III, Disguise III. Foreign minister and defense minister. Uh, since I'm not connected to the network, this probably isn't going to help me very much. So, in the meantime, we are going to, uh, to appoint our presidential candidate and our education minister. And everybody looks ridiculous. <laughs> so yeah, we can get more titles by, uh, by making progress. Alright, that being said, uh... Yeah, I like how that looks. That being said, uh, Huka is kind of getting the shaft over here, so uh, let's place her somewhere useful. She's pretty strong, pretty tanky. Um, I forgot which uh, which Pruny I said was uh, was getting shafted here, but uh, I guess it's gonna be Eska. As a matter of fact, um.
As a matter of fact, let's send Eska to the support group. There. Alright, this is looking pretty good. Let's see, we can probably put Valvatores back in the back in our uh, back in our position here. Ugh. There. Let's return to base. Cheat limit has expanded and we can now suggest the Rosen Queen Bell. Sorry about that, I'm... I'm doing stuff. <laughs> anyway, uh... Before we deal with the Rosen Queen Bill, let's first... Game? I want... to open the chest, thank you. Let's see, are there any ch other chests I should be worried about here? Yes, as a matter of fact, a very well uh, camouflaged chest. <laughs> Alright, let's talk to everybody. Actually, no, let's uh, let's see if we can pass Rosen Queen, because this is a very important... Uh, this is a very important uh, evil symbol to unlock, at least for me it is. Let's see, 155%. Uh, let's see if we can summon some items to help with that. Dragon Party, yes. Alright, let's see here. Gotta summon a bunch of items to... Um, Actually, it was not. Okay. I guess we're just uh, going for this as is. Ooh, 65%. I like how that looks. Of course, the dragons don't even show up, but uh, this is looking pretty okay. <laughs> Approved! Just barely! Alright, so, let's place our new evil symbol, Rosen Queen. They came to Hades to sell souvenir items. The items change depending on which evil area they're placed on. Let's see, this is Plan of the Wicked. Welcome to the specialty shop. As you can see, we can buy slippers now! Whoops. You can also buy other special items, which is really great, but right now I want slippers. Slippers for everybody! And what do you know, I actually have a pair of slippers to spare. Alright, finally, let's see if I can't upgrade somebody's armor.
That's looking pretty good. The rest can wait till later. <laughs> Until we have more cash. Alright, now we can talk to everyone. After I, uh... After I OCD arrange my, uh, my levels. There. <laughs> Conspiracy! <laughs> Gotta love Val. <laughs> yeah, Fuka is by no means weak. She's probably the tankiest out of all our units. Probably. Before I say that for certain, let's uh. 100% death aptitude, yeah. Oh, well, Stella is even tankier than Fuka, so, but she's not exactly canon, so, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I could adjust the cap up to a hundred twenty percent if I so choose, but I do not so choose because I like keeping everything nice and balanced. <laughs> oh no, he got mugged by a strange printy. I hope it wasn't you. Yeah, she's still going to be in denial about that no matter what we say. <laughs> Finally, our tip of the day. Thank you, Captain Obvious. Alright, let us proceed. Episode 3, Enter the Final Weapon. Map 1, Murder Labyrinth. That sounds just lovely. I love a good murder as part of my daily breakfast. There they are. Let's kill them and get out of here. I can't believe I can win my freedom just by killing those weak-looking fools! Uh, let's kill those biatches! Kill, kill, and kill! <laughs> nice censorship there, uh, NIS. That's precisely what they are. If you keep acting like you're in a dream, you're going to get yourself killed. <laughs> I'm putting an end to your depraved and insolent ways. I'll get rid of you and finally clear myself of everything you blamed on me. You showed your face to us. You fake wannabe warden Axel. <laughs> you idiot. Do you really think there could be two people who look as stunning as I do in the universe? Maybe. What? You're real? Why are you fighting us? Have you forgotten the days we used to scramble around the battlefield together? But comrades, who wants your back? You're not my comrade. You can't just sugarcoat your memories of me like that. But it's one of Lord Val's formidable powers. There's only one person I can consider to be my comrade. The son of the president. His name is Sir Death Emiso. No love for Prinny Curtis, I see. <laughs> I'll finish you off this time, you impudent Prinny instructor. <clears throat> Maybe because we beat you twice already? I guess I didn't hide it well enough. Then I apologize, I'm sorry. 
sorry about that. I guess I was expecting a crazier twist. <laughs> Surely exceeding your authoritative powers by promising to give these prisoners pardons. I find it very hard to believe that failures like you were entrusted with such power by the corrupt elite. What do you say about that? <laughs> Promise first and then follow up later. That was their plan the whole time. Failures? That's not how they acted in front of us. But they don't look like they can actually grant us pardons. Did they <laughs> lie to us? No, no way! You will be granted pardons! It's an official promise by Sir Measel, the President's son. Don't listen to them! Hey, Warden, are you sure we should really promise them that without my pops' consent? Hey, there's Evil Pink! Hi, kitty! You're a cute kitty. in the netherworld you guys are history i have to admit a level cap is a pretty effective way of limiting a guy's power <laughs> you leave me no choice i will simply have to give you a sound and decisive beating that didn't take much persuading besides you were the only one who was rambling about being comrades and whatnot and thus Hades' most epic battle was underway. This battle developed into a significant event that eventually altered the very future and destiny of the Netherworld. And then a knight came through and slaughtered our poor historian in the middle of his speech. Anyway... <laughs> uh, we got our dudes here. We got dudes and we got dudes and we got other dudes. So... Let's introduce some of our new monsters. We have the Mothman, who has a 50% chance to evade close range attacks. They turn into guns. Uh, they're also flying types and they've got pretty high move. Orcs we've already seen. Gargoyles! These guys also move pretty fast apparently. That's, I wasn't expecting that. Increase, but they increase defense by 10% every turn they don't move. They turn into axes. Finally, Beast Masters. They power up adjacent monsters. They like spears, bows, and axes, and we are probably not going to end up making one of these guys. That being said, what we have here in the way of geo panels is we probably want to lure everybody into this uh, into this box here. Or actually, no, that's a terrible Everyone, plan. What we want to do is let's try to kill everybody from from inside the box without letting them enter. Easier said than done because uh, Mothmen are flying types, but still. Here I come. Get ready for this. <clears throat> That's how we're gonna do this. I can do anything in my 
Then you other three guys, you can uh, intervene as go. necessary. I will say this, this guy of four, uh, as slow as it is, it's definitely very heavy on the strategy, the strategic element of its, of its gameplay. You don't get thrown into situations like this in the other disguise. Alright, who got injured here? Uh, that would be you. Pretty good. Fortunately for us, uh, Mothmen still can't evade uh, ranged attacks very well. This much here, but let's use let's follow up with a Prillin bomb. Nick. Wow, I am getting extremely lucky with these uh, with these melee hits. <laughs> Also, Kitty has nothing to do. Sorry, Kitty. Let's, uh, let's get you sent over here. Yeah, we haven't seen these guys since the first time. run out here now we've uh, got a significant shortage of units enemy units I mean you know what I might do just that Yeah, Hookah can reach from there. We need to take maximum advantage of the geometry in order to in order to excel at video games. <laughs> that sure was a statement I just made. Fuka was on her school's baseball team. Oh, silly me, I can just do this. Um, yeah. It's kind of hard to tell what's walkable geometry here and what isn't. <laughs> There's just too much going on on this map.
these guys have some pretty low res for their uh, for the amount of defense they have. We can use that to our advantage. Alright, Beastmasters, your time is up! I'm coming for you, and you don't have any monsters left to protect you! <laughs> Nobody ever said my Let's Playing setup was perfect. Got, for one thing, I got a gigantic tangle of wires here. Uh, when I end up taking care of my friend's dog, that could end up being a problem. I don't know for sure. <laughs> I definitely gotta record the days I'm taking care of her. Everybody loves it when somebody's pet interrupts them during the Let's Play. Alright. Um, where's Val? Since Valvatorez isn't overpowered enough already, let's have him finish off the last step. Heck yeah, Salgar. Mothman and Gargoyle are now available to create. you so please, as long as you always keep your promise. If the prisoners are able to successfully defeat us, you better keep your promise and grant them pardons. You got that? What the hell are you talking about? Why do you care about a promise that can only be kept if you die? Are you okay? A man has to have his principles. You have no right to judge him. You got that, Rascal? Keep that promise you made. You will learn the true weight of a promise. Severe pain. Severe pain? What are you gonna do to me? I will do nothing. However, you will feel it in your heart. What the hell do you mean by that? You're like, totally whack. Hey, why are you so obsessed with keeping promises? Did something happen in your past or something? Yeah, that was just a dot dot dot. He didn't say anything. Intruding on someone's personal issues. As expected of a human. After all, you are creatures of egotism. Oh, come on. I'm just curious. Mind your own business. Ugh, what's your problem? Let's go. Our priority now is to restore order to this place. That is my duty as a training instructor. Uh, no, I believe that is beyond your scope of responsibilities as a Prinny instructor. But I approve of this plan, since it would bring positive results. All is for my lord. Phew. I've almost reached the target amount. This is all for the Lady Archangel who supports me, even if it is against the will of Celestia. And to stop him. I like her uh, heart-shaped braid. <laughs> it's really pretty. Yeah. Alright, that being said, it's time to... Uh, Heal up, and I think before I go, I'm going to lower the music volume a little bit. Uh, 
There. Hopefully we'll be able to hear the characters talking now, actually. <laughs> so, yeah. See you all next time. Bye-bye.